What's up? It's Nick back and welcome back to the channel. Now I'm going to be honest with you. Root Rot has gotten the best of me and my aquaponic system. Now if you don't know by now, I built an aquaponic system on my 10 gallon fish tank just a do-it-yourself project that I did about a year ago. And while I've had a lot of fun with the system, it has been really tough to get rid of root rot. And I think others are experiencing the same thing because I always get a lot of comments. And that's one of the hot topics that are usually discussed on those videos I've put out. Now I've tried to change the water distribution system on the aquaponic system that I built a few times, but it's still giving me some issues. With the help of one of my subscribers, however, I think I might finally be able to solve those issues once and for all. Now before I get into the bulk of this video, I did want to mention the fact that this is the first video that I've put out since we have seen the coronavirus and the pandemic. So I felt weird putting the video out without saying anything. Um, so I guess I just wanted to touch on that. Hope everybody's doing okay. I know the world has changed for a lot of us. So I hope everybody is being safe. I think this is something that we all kind of have to do our part to get through. Unfortunately, it might get worse before it gets better, but we're here. And one of the things that gets me through that are my hobbies. I unfortunately haven't been making videos of a lot of the hobbies that I have been doing, but I hope to get that inspiration back and uh, to start issuing some content for you all. So getting back to the video, one of the things that I did not implement on the original system was a bell siphon kit. And I talked about that in some of my other videos, the reasons why I didn't, but I think it's gonna be necessary to get rid of the root problems. Now, lucky for me, one of my subscribers, Patrick, with JustPonics.com, actually reached out to me and sent me a 3D printed bell siphon system that is gonna fit perfect on the system that I have built behind me. I'm gonna leave Patrick's website down in the description below. Definitely check him out. If you haven't seen the other videos and are curious, I'm also gonna link all of the products that I used to build the original system down in the description below as well. I've checked this Bell Siphon out and it's pretty freaking cool. So really excited to get this implemented and really appreciate Patrick for reaching out and honestly giving me the motivation to do this video and to improve the system. This 3D printed Bell Siphon is really cool um, he did a really good job on the 3D printing. There are many pieces that actually all come apart and just really clean lines. There are washers where the system will actually have to go through the grow bed. And it just looks really professional and well done. This was the four inch bell siphon, which is on his website and uh, really top quality and actually pretty cool. I haven't seen too many 3D printed objects yet and this is a really cool innovative way to uh, get a bell siphon in your system. Now the difference between a bell siphon and what I have been doing is the fact that a bell siphon is going to allow a flood and drain to happen within the grow bed and that means that this is going to be in the grow bed, water is going to fill up in the bed as well as in this too and then eventually it is going to create enough suction within this tube to drain the entire bed. But to actually visually show you what I mean, I'll take you to a little demonstration that I made for it. Okay guys, so I'm taking you to the sink to show you how this bell siphon is going to really work in the system. So to test it out, I just um, put it, installed it on this little clear jar here. It's going to show me how good the ceiling is just right out of the box. And I think it's going to be a cool visual to really show you why the bell siphon system actually works. So we're going to just turn the faucet on, start filling this up, keep it a continuous stream because that's what we want to do in practice. The water should fill up within the canister and then also within the bell siphons too. Then the pressure should build out and at a certain point, it should drain the whole um, larger tube down to the small inlet holes, um, allowing water to get back down, oxygen, and pretty much flushing the whole system. So uh, let's see it uh, go.
The seals seem to be doing their job. It's not dripping anything underneath. So that's a good first sign. It's filling up towards the top. And boom, you see the bell siphon engages and it uh, clears the system out. So that worked really well. We'll go one more time to see if it can uh, go two for two. Boom, on the money. So this video is actually not gonna show the installation of this kit, but that's gonna be coming out really soon. So I hope you guys subscribe and watch out for that video as it comes out. If you could, please pound that like button for me. It really helps the videos and the algorithm and it really helps my channel grow. Let me know if you have any other questions about the system or if you'd like to see something in the video where I actually do install this or if you'd like to see me take this aquaponics in a different journey and run some tests with different plants or whatever. I would really just love to hear from you all. With that, I'm going to end this short video. Hopefully you look out for the installation video and uh, looking forward to it. I appreciate you guys for watching and until next time.